What's going on guys? Spider here and we have a trophy slash achievement guide for you here in Black Ops 3 Zombies. It's the beginning of the end. It's uh, quote unquote, I wouldn't say it's the main easter egg, but uh, it is, you know, part of the easter egg or a sub part of the easter egg. So the beginning of the end in Shadows of Evil, complete all rituals. So we're going to start a new game here. We're going to show you from start to end. Uh, how to complete all four rituals, where all the parts are, and exactly what to do. So first thing we're going to do is go into beast mode. We're going to do a few things in the starting area. We're going to open that door. You don't really need that as part of the, the achievement. We're going to smash that crate in the back of the truck. We're going to power on, quick revive, and then we're going to climb up to this point. If you hit R2, you use your tentacle to climb up on that hook. Now, I don't actually make it, but what I'm trying to do is go through the magician's area, Get onto the other side and power that box right there. And powering that box will open up the stairs in the back of spawn, all right? So you can do it all in one shot. I mean, we got four players, so another player can do it. Now, this is the summoning key. The summoning key is required for all the sacrifice rituals, okay? And we have to do four of them, remember. So because it's the next round, I'm going to go back into beast mode and uh, there's another box I'm going to power right here. It powers the crane. The crane has a box. The crane comes over, drops the box, and that is a part that drops. It's, it's the pen. It's a fountain pen and that's required to perform the magician's ritual. So we're going to go back here again. This time we are going to get the door powered up. There we go. The box is powered and the door opens the stairs are now open and we can now get into the magician's uh i don't know his magician's headquarters i guess so here we are a bit later uh that's the crane right there and you see it came over it dropped the box and uh, a part was inside there it is it is the fountain pen it is the fountain pen for the magician and uh whenever you pick a part i always forget about this whenever you pick up these parts these guys spawn in it's they're, they're like the um you know the witches in buried but the, i don't think they take their point you don't they don't take your points but they do kill you so uh, i wasn't expecting that i always forget about that so we got the fountain pen we can now go up into the magician's area and you see the table right there the stones yes let's place the fountain pen and then we can begin the ritual okay so begin the sacrifice ritual now what i would suggest is have one player do it and it's just time based you get the same guys that spawn in when we picked up the pen you have these same guys spawn in okay you don't have to kill them all you have to do you just have to run circles and it's based on time if you're running solo it takes less time uh the more players you have in your game the more time it takes and I usually have somebody on the outside because I don't have Jug here, just in case you get caught. I mean, you can shoot some of these guys and get some points, but if you get caught, I mean, it's fairly easy to get downed. Um, if you get down, the ritual just ends, okay? It just ends, and why I have a player just standing on the outside of the ritual area is, you know, when the ritual ends, if I get down, well, he can just come in and revive me, all right? So we're going to play the uh, the whole thing for you the first time through. And the ritual, we're, we're basically sacrificing a person from that character's past. So this person, we believe, is the magician's lawyer that we're actually sacrificing. And there's some additional dialogue that you can get if you're the magician running in here. Uh, plus there's some dialogue from the telephones uh, in each area that you get, okay? Indicating who it is. And there we go. So we have this thing. What the heck? What's that? The little wormy. So you can actually pick up the worm, right? So those wor the worm is required for something else. Uh, the fact that we perform the ritual, you don't even have to pick up the worm in order to complete it. Ritual is complete. The worm is just like a side effect of the ritual, all right? Okay, so the second ritual we're going to perform is for the boxer, and his area is in the waterfront. What we need to do is get the part first, and his part is a belt. So he's, you know, the title belt for the boxing. And it's in that box right there. And you can see that uh, the eagle thing is basically a hook, again, similar to like what we saw in the magician's area. It's a hook that we can use while we're in beast mode to get us up to that top part. And then all you have to do is melee, melee the box. So melee R3. So Axel's going to do it this time. So he's going to go over there. You're going to see him jump up there using his tentacle R2. And then he's going to R3 on the box. The box is going to fall. It's going to crash down. And then we can collect the belt. So we're just going to walk down. Uh, there's the belt lying on the ground. You can notice like I'm the police officer. I have that worm thing that I picked up from the magician's area. It's okay. Uh, each player can have one worm, but can also carry a part, okay? So I, I can still pick up this part and still have the worm. So we're going to pick up the belt. 
There we go, and uh, we're gonna check it. Okay, so the policeman has the belt and the worm. And I forgot about those things again, and I get down again. Wow. Now we're gonna go over to the boxing ring again. Now you do have to open the door with R3, just like meleeing while you're the beast. We're gonna place down the belt, and then we're gonna initiate the ritual. And uh, we believe that uh, the person that we're sacrificing here is uh, the boxer's manager. Um, again, each time you complete the ritual afterwards, a telephone rings. I mean, it only rings like once or twice, but it's available to pick up at any time. You just go over and hit square on the telephone and you'll hear like a recording of somebody that's leaving a message for that person in that area. So uh, we believe it's the manager leaving a message for the boxer, okay? So here we are at the uh, the tail end of the ritual. It's just about over, and voila! We get another gate worm. There it is. Hello, wormy guy. Kind of looks like uh, something off a of Warframe, or maybe Extinction. I don't know. And uh, yeah, this happens too as well. I should probably mention that sometimes. I think every time you complete the ritual and you pick up the worm, uh, one of these guys, the Margua, spawns in. I don't know. Anyways, just keep an eye out for that. <laughs> hey, it's they're they're pretty pretty easy to deal with now that we've uh, played Shadows of Evil enough times. All right, so that's the second ritual complete. The third ritual we're gonna complete is for the Femme Fatale, and you can do this in any order. You don't have to do you know the magician first and the boxer second. You can do it however what order you want. Okay, so we're in the Footlight District. This is her area. We got to do it uh, in the burlesque. That's where her ritual table is. And uh, we're just looking at where the hook is to jump up. Uh, there it is. So the hook's going to jump up. We're going to open up that door. But we're also going to get the part uh, that is required for the sacrifice. And that part is in that box right there. Okay? So once you go up and you're going to open up the area basically to where the uh, the perk is in this area, in the Footlight District. So there we go. We're up top. We're going to go open the stairway. And power that box. Okay, we got it. And then we uh, there's a, a, a little ramp, so to speak, on the corner right there. So we're going to use that. We're going to jump up onto this ledge. We're going to hit the box. And the box is going to drop, and it's going to drop the part. And then we're going to power... And I think I missed the, the perk, powering the perk. But probably could have done that uh, right after or right before we powered the stairs. Okay? So there's the part right there. And it's uh, like a hairpiece or a wig or whatever the hell you want to call it. So we can pick it up. Again, I only have the worm because I already dropped off the other part to do the boxer sacrifice. And uh, now we're set up to do the sacrifice ritual for the Femme Fatale. So we're over in the final area of the Footlight District and I'm showing uh, Senna here how to open the door for the uh, burlesque. So that door opens right there and the way you do it is by going to beast mode, getting onto that hook and there is a power box. Uh, you hook up to that, you drop down in beast mode and right behind the, you know, where it says the black lace burlesque, there's a, a power box that powers that door and allows it to open. So he's gonna do that and then we're gonna go into the burlesque. So uh, here we are in the burlesque. The ritual table is on the main stage and uh, we're gonna place the parts. And then we're gonna start up the ritual and again just do you know circle strategies, man. I've been I've been practicing this kind of thing for years. I've been years in practice for uh, Black Ops Three Zombies. I'm telling you, on Shadows of Evil. All right, so we're just gonna run circles and then um, we believe that the person that she's sacrificing is a producer who's been trying to get her into uh, a movie and or onto Broadway. So that is the linkage to the Femme Fatale. So here we are at the uh, tail end of the ritual, and it is complete. And then there's the little wormy dude, and uh, one of our other players, will Senna, I think, will come and pick it up. And that's it. Three out of four rituals complete. The last one is for the cop, the police officer. So we're in the canal district, the final area, the last uh, sacrifice ritual, and we got to get the policeman's part. Well, his part is in this box that's behind this grate. Okay, so you need beast mode. Uh, you have to hit the box. Now you can hit the box and destroy the box and, and produce the part uh, with the grate open or not. There's the uh, the rift or the teleporter. And then over on the other side, the box just happens to be up here. But over on this other side and around the corner uh, is a area that uh, you can access only in beast mode. So it's this, see where the symbol is, right? Uh, that symbol, that, that, those boards, and you can see there's a power um, uh, device behind it, right? 
Those boards can just be bypassed, similar to Mob of the Dead, when you're in beast mode. And when you power that up, that removes the grate that is covering the part for the policeman, all right? So oh, here we're gonna spectate Axel going into beast mode. He's gonna come down here, and the first thing he's gonna do is uh, power that box, so he can walk right through, right through that those boards. Uh, he's going to go around here. He's gonna smash that door open, and then we're gonna keep going. And there you go. He smashed the box, or was previously smashed, and the grate is open because he powered it. All right, and there's the policeman's badge. So it's his badge. He lost his badge, and we found it for him. And, of course, these guys spawn in, and I get down once again. <laughs> we got to throw a little entertainment in there for you. Well, the policeman has a pretty interesting place in the canal district. Uh, there's the hook that we got to get up to in order to uh, power the stairs, like open the stairway into his abode. All right, so we're going to go into beast mode here. We're going to hook up onto there, and uh, basically you're running down two flights of stairs in order to power the door and power the stairs to get them open, all right? So we're up on the balcony, we're gonna drop down, we're looking for the stairs, where are the stairs? The stairs are over here. We're gonna go down, there were uh, two levels down, and there is the box that we power, and now the stairs are open. I'm gonna say the cop's place is uh, pretty nice, his wife must have decorated, it's very, very pink. Anyways, we're gonna place his badge on the stone, we're gonna initiate the ritual and do our thing, do our circle strategy, and uh, and let's get this done. Here we go, we're on the tail end. Uh, this guy is his partner, by the way, just so you know. And uh, that's it, ritual number four has been completed. Your trophy or achievement will pop up right now. I mean, you don't have to do anything else, and it's very, very easy. I mean, this was like the easiest sort of, um, you know, major achievement in zombies in like five years or something like that, I don't know. In black, you know, go go Black Ops and, and Black Ops 2. Uh, this one was very, very easy. But I do like the fact, because there is stuff beyond this, there's a lot of stuff beyond this, um, but in order to get this done, like, it really didn't take a whole lot. I mean, it, it, we did it the first night uh, on Thursday, like last Thursday night. I apologize for getting this out so late, but, uh, you know, we were busy. We've been live streaming like crazy and doing all this stuff live for you guys, all right? So uh, that's it. The beginning of the end achievement in Shadows of Evil completes all rituals. I hope it helps, guys. We'll have much more from Shadows of Evil and Black Ops 3 Zombies in general here on the channel for sure. Um, in the coming days, weeks, months, years, probably. <laughs> Who knows, right? That's it for now, guys. I'm Spider, and I'm out.